Now let's head over to Mark. He he loves jumping in the shower, but he loves cooking <laughs> even more. Well, I hope he loves jumping in the shower. <laughs> like jumping in the shower, cooking in the shower. Oh, oh well, there you go. There's a whole new show. <laughs> you try it sometimes. It's great. Uh, what are we going to be doing today? Nice to see a bit of meat. Yes, right, we've got meat on the menu and we've got a Chinese dish, so Chinese broccoli beef. So a few of my favourite ingredients in yep. here. You've got the nice sirloin steak here, broccoli of course, nice. ginger garlic, and then all those classic Chinese flavours there, oyster sauce, black vinegar, rice wine. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, good. It doesn't look like much, but I tell you what, when we put it all together, it is going to be so tasty. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. It's just us, Mark, I know, we had a lot of visitors last week. <laughs> so this morning in the Beko Kitchen, what are we making? Meat. Right, so yeah, we've got beef, got beautiful sirloin steak there, yep. so Chinese broccoli beef. Nice, that sounds like a really nice combination. I love my broccoli, actually. Fantastic, yeah, yep. great vegetable, great this time of year as well, really cheap, and uh, great in stir fries as well, so I'm just going to take the uh, stalk off. This is good, because sometimes you go to the supermarket and they're like two for five or something, and you're like, oh, I better buy two, you know, save a dollar. Um, and then you're like, well, how am I going to eat the rest of this broccoli? So well, here you go, an alternative. here is Thank a you. recipe for you. Nice. Right, so we're just going to just cut it down into little... Uh, you know, bite-sized chunks. Yep. I've got wok on there, which is getting really hot. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to do, really high heat, and we want to stir-fry this broccoli first, okay? Okay. So we have any olive oil or anything in here? Nothing? Yeah, gonna... we'll... we'll... Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Put a bit of oil well. in there. <laughs> All right, and then the whole whole idea is we want to we still want to crunch on this broccoli. We still want it to keep it nice and green, but we want a little bit of uh, colour on the broccoli. Okay. Okay, that's going to bring us uh, some flavour out. Okay. So once it's nice and hot... Mm -hmm. We'll just test it with one. Oh, you there got the you sizzle, go. that's there hot. You go. So we've got the sizzle, so we're going to pop that in there. Cool. And then you can just, you know, just keep that on the go. So mm -hmm. just nice stir frying. Okay, so, so maybe like... Yeah, remember to stir <laughs> yeah. when you're stir frying. <laughs> Don't just sit there looking at it. I well, can leave it a little bit on there, you know, it's... Um, Get a little bit of colour, but keep it, you know, keep it going. Keep so you get moving. a nice bit of, um, you know, almost these little black spots around it, and then that's really going to bring out the uh, flavour. So it's nice. really good, right? And then we've got our meat. So sirloin steak. You could use rump steak if you want, um, but these beautiful sirloin steaks here. So I'm just going to trim the fat off. Oh, you can leave a little bit of fat on if you, say, if you leave a little bit on if you want. But and then just going to cut it across the grain, just into nice little thin strips. And we're going to marinate this um, beef up. Right, so you go across the grain. When you're slicing beef like this, should you always do that? Yeah, okay. it, it makes it more tender. So if you go across the grain, you know, it breaks it all up. And it okay. doesn't become chewy. If you go with the grain, your you grain uh, runs lengthways, and then you, you're eating it and you're chewing it. Okay, great. Okay, so there's a tip for you. Same when you uh, cook a piece of meat, you rest it, and then cut it across the grain. Okay, so if I'm at home by myself, do I get the broccoli on and then slice my beef and just keep an eye on it, or do I... Well, if you want to, if you want to go really fast, this yep. is what you do. So get the broccoli on. As yep. it's cooking, you're slicing the meat. Nice. I'm going to give it a quick marinade. It's a nice quick recipe. That goes in there. Cool. Right, so got a little bit of corn flour there, so you can pop that over the uh, meat. Okay. A little bit of uh, pepper in there. Yep. Give you a spoon, you can stir that around. You know, I'm multitasking today, oh, Mike. No, I'm, well, look. <laughs> There's only two of us in the kitchen. I'm doing everything today. <laughs> okay. We're our guest chefs. Usually I just <laughs> lean back and ask lame questions. <laughs> okay. Right. All right, so a li little bit more beef. Now I've got to check the broccoli. Sorry. Oh, that was Are these the bit, sort of black spots you're looking for? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. you can see that there, like a little bit there. That's that's okay. And you can see how the broccoli is still really green. But you're getting this uh, colour, so that's the flavour on there. And, and you're just have a bit softening of crunch. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's okay. going to keep it's going to keep go uh, it's going to keep cooking as well as we as we make a little sauce and everything okay. that goes in there. Yes. Uh, and then a little bit of soy sauce as well soy over sauce. there. Soy yep. sauce. Yep. So marinate it all up, that's ready to go. You know, give that five, ten minutes, that's fine. You don't need to do it longer than that. Why do you put the corn flour in? Is that to hold the sauce? Well, that's going to help thicken the sauce ah, as we fry okay, it, you know, and right. we're not going to get any lumps in there because it's all in there. Really? You know, it's all dissolved in there. Nice. Right, so broccoli's there. Did you give some pepper in there? Uh, not in the beef, no. I put it on the broccoli. <laughs> Didn't I? I can't remember. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, if there's too much pepper, we'll just add pepper <laughs> yeah, into the title. <laughs> Chinese pepper. Broccoli right, steak. so that's, that's ready to go, that's marinating. Cool. You can see the broccoli, a nice bit of colour, so we're going to take the broccoli out now. Yep. And then we'll wipe the wok out, get it hot again, and then mm -hmm. we'll start doing the beef, and we'll make a quick sauce to go with it. Everything gets added together, and uh, Bob's your uncle, that's it. Really fast. Nice, we are walking and rolling here. <laughs> we need to finish off this cheese, uh, Chinese broccoli beef. <laughs> a bit of cheese would be quite nice in it, actually, just quietly. <laughs> go get some. Anyway, uh, we've cleaned out the wok. Right, so broccoli's here. Yeah. So you can see, it's still nice and green. It's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit soft now. You've still got some texture in it. 
Nice bit of colour on there. Right. So um, good flavour. Can I taste a bit? Just a yeah. check? Yeah. All right, so it's all got the crunch, and you're right, the flavour's good. But it's really okay. good, and because you, you don't want to cook, keep cooking broccoli till it's really soft, so you don't want okay, that cool. texture in there. So same what, we just wiped it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some fresh oil in there, and then we're going to stir fry our beef here. So this is like really thin, it's not going to take long to cook. So when, when, the hot's, uh, when the wok's really hot, you can pop that in. I think it's ready, it's starting to smoke. Okay, pop that in. Okay. There you go, is that what you know, is that yeah, the noise you need? Yeah, there you go, so spread it out so it's sort of like a single layer. Okay. And then just leave it for about a minute on full heat and you'll get a bit of colour on that beef. Yeah. And then we can start turning it around. So we're looking for a bit of colour before we start stirring it. Okay, that's helpful. And then we're going to make a little sauce here, so we've got some uh, uh, rice wine. So don't stir it yet, because I'm tempted just to stir it. Yeah, you know, just, give, just give it a minute okay, and that'll give it some way. colour and then you can stir it. You learn something every day here, don't you? What's in there? Oyster sauce. Yeah. Uh, rice uh, vinegar. Yeah. And uh, rice wine and black vinegar. Okay. All right. So really, really quick sauce. So loads, loads of ingredients, loads of flavours in there. You know. I really want to stir this now. Well, hang and have a look. Have you got a bit of colour? No, leave yeah, it. She's starting to get a bit of colour. Now you can stir it. Okay, cool. I can stir it now. Okay, so that's the colour we're looking for. Yeah. Nice it, and now, tender. and now stir it. Now stir it for about another 30 seconds. Okay. Now I like I like doing the fancy old wristy woki thing, but that takes away heat from the wok, so it, not a bite. It does, so that's why you shouldn't do that. Okay, right. <laughs> All right, it'll still taste good, Mark. There you go. It's still sizzling, so it's still good. Right. So what are you up to now? Chopping some ginger. Right. So we've got a little bit of ginger, yep. a little bit of garlic, okay. and what you want to do now is just push the um, beef to the side, so we're yep. still frying that, but you're, le you're making a little space in the centre. Mm -hmm. Garlic and ginger goes in there, yeah. so you can just let that cook a little bit, okay. bring out those flavours, and then you can start mixing it in together, stirring it all around. Oh, okay, so you don't put the garlic and the ginger with the beef, otherwise it misses out on a little bit of cooking time. Well, yeah, because the pan's so hot, right. we, want, we need that heat to sear the beef and get that beautiful colour in there. Ah, nice. So we're getting the beef like head started, and then we're going to put the aromats in there. Now you can sort of start stir-frying it all together, all those flavours going in the beef. Jeez, it smells good. And you can see the beef's, you know, it's almost cooked. There's a few little like, pink tinges on there, but I mean, you know, that's, that's good right. enough to eat. Yeah. You know, we're going to pop the sauce in as well. Okay. And the broccoli, you know, oh, that goes in. This is such a fast dish, I love it. Sauce goes in there. It's my sort of dinner. You know, turn that around. And a little tip as well. You know, if your wok's really hot, because your sauce is nice and thick and you've got that corn flour in the beef, mm -hmm. it's thickening up straight away. A little splash of water as well. Nice. Just sort of loosens it up, gets a nice little bit of sauce there. Check the seasoning, good to go. Brilliant, love it, Mark. That's good. It smells good as well. Okay, Mark, I've got no boundaries when it comes to your food. I don't <laughs> care where it is, as long as it's near me. And can I just say, outstanding today, love it. It's really good, really fast, really tasty. Um, this is a great dish. You know, serve it with some rice, some noodles, whatever you want. You know, put it on some toast for breakfast. That's how good it is. <laughs> Yum! Yeah, yeah. Johnny's beef Yum. broccoli. No, and I had a wee nibble before. <laughs> yes, and then that's did. why I've used a small bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, that is really good. Okay, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got roasted lamb roll with a mint chimichurri.